Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily run our first jQuery script on Windows. Okay, so jQuery is a lightweight JavaScript library that eases the work of JavaScript on your website. So let's see how we can quickly run it. For that guys, you can download the jQuery library or you can use jQuery from a CDN. So I guess using a CDN is a better option. That means uh, directly a link we will add in our code. That's it. We don't need to install and set up jQuery. So let's see. Okay, so you can go to any drive. Let's say I went to D drive on Windows. On right click, I'll directly create a folder. Let's say its name is Amit. Scripts, you can create any folder. Within that, I'll right click and create a new text document. Okay. After creating, I'll directly name it. Let's say. Let's say my name is demo1. And .txt instead of .txt, I just need to create HTML file. When I'll press enter, it will change the extension. Okay, it has changed it. If you are unable to see .html or .txt here, that means you need to enable it. Go to view. Go to show and just click on file name extensions. You can also work around these options under Windows 10. Under Windows 10 also, go to view and therein you can find a checkbox to select file name extension. That's it. After that, you can rename it. We can directly open it with Notepad++ or or we can also open it with Notepad. It's the same thing. I'll just open with Notepad++. Okay, so now we will write our HTML program and within we will add our CDN link for jQuery so that we can run our first jQuery program. So that we can run our first jQuery script. So I'll just directly create an HTML program using doc type HTML. We need to add it first. Here is our HTML. Here is our head part. Let me close HTML and let me close head also. Okay, so what I'll do to run jQuery, you need to add a script tag in it. Okay, start it and, and close it. Now, under this, you need to add source attribute and herein just add the link of the CDN. That's it. So, the link of the CDN is, is the following. Okay, here it is. When you'll open this link on a browser, you can see the jQuery.main.js file is visible. This is available on CDN, so you just need to write it here. Okay, so now we have closed the script tag. Here is our head tag. We have closed it. Now within head tag, you need to add another script. That means the actual the actual jQuery script comes here. Close it. Now what we can do at first mention dollar. Under that, use the document dot ready function. And here it is. Now, what is this document dot ready function? This prevents any jQuery code from running before the document finish loading. Okay. Through this, you can add your code before the body of a document in the head section. So, we will be adding our jQuery code inside this document dot ready. This dollar sign is basically to define and access jQuery. Now we will write our first program. Event on the click of a button. What we will do? On the click of a button. Now whatever we will write here will happen when we will click the button. So we did this using jQuery. So what I will do? I will just write taller. Let's say we used a p tag. We will, we will use this later. So dot height. That means on the click of a button, the paragraph tag, all the content under parag under paragraph tag will hide. So let us write the code. Now we are inside our HTML body. Now I'll here and I'll first add let's say demo heading. Okay, I closed it. Now I'll add p tags. Write any demo text in it. So we added three lines. Now we'll mention the button. So we will click on this button to hide the P tags. Okay. Okay. You can write click here directly. Okay. Now our code is finished. We have ended it with HTML. Now let us save it. 
we have saved it our file is demo1.html when I'll click on demo1.html it will run why because it's just an HTML file we just added the script source to add jQuery in it okay so I told you this uh, this dollar is basically used to define and access jQuery okay so on the click of a button this is our selector a selector is basically used to query or find HTML element so here in it will go for paragraph P and this is our action which is the which is the height function on the click of a button the paragraph tag will hide that's it that is hiding all the P elements let's run it this was our file okay when I'll double click it will open but I am changing the browser you can also change it just go to properties and change the browser I'll just set it to Chrome okay apply and that's it we have a Chrome icon here now it will open in Chrome here you can see we opened it in Chrome the path is the following D drive Amit scripts okay and you can see the same is visible here we entered a demo heading heading and three lines using paragraph tag below that we were having the click button to hide it I'll click it okay it is not working maybe some coding error okay so let's see okay here in we forgot the ready okay we forgot this now it's fine go to file click on save and now I'll go here and refresh it again now click after clicking now you can see it vanished okay now if you will again refresh it will be visible on clicking an action will be performed okay and it will hide why because we use the hide function okay so you can check this code again in this way you can easily work around jQuery you just need to create an HTML file just like we created here okay after that we ran it here okay and we were able to hide the paragraph using jQuery we use the selector here and the height function so guys in this video we saw how we can add our first jQuery script on Windows localhost if you like the video do subscribe to our channel Amit Things